A definition of sovereignty is very, very difficult. I wrote a book called Native American Issues in 1996, and I discussed sovereignty in a whole chapter, and it's almost like grabbing worms, holding jello. It's very, very tough to define. It involves political power. Do I have political power? Do I not have political power? And political power is a two-person relationship or, or two-sided relationship. If I have power, it's power over you. Uh, it's not just power, it's power vis-a-vis -vis the federal government, the state government. There's a basic understanding, and it's accepted in law, although some tribal members will philosophically dispute it, that the United States is the ultimate sovereign within the United States of America, the United States government. But many court decisions suggest that Indian tribes can be on equal plane with the state government. But these things just have to be worked out. And when we throw in sovereignty, well, a state's sovereign, yes, and then the sovereign, yes. But you know, it's a power relationship. And as such, when we talk about sovereignty, we're talking about a zero-sum game. If I'm a winner, you're a loser. And I would like to see our policy uh, with Native American gaming, with Native Americans, and many other issues with minorities, put on another plane other than a win-lose game. We could put it on a win-win game, and in my new edition of Native American Issues, which will be out in 2005, I say the central concept is not sovereignty, it's community. Let's have stronger communities. Indian game gaming can make stronger communities. And you know what? If I have a strong community, it doesn't hurt you. In fact, it makes you better. If an Indian uh, community is stronger, it makes all white communities better. It makes all African-American communities better. It's a win-win game when we can see positive community. No white American would say, I'm going to fight your community. I don't want your community to be strong. They will say, I'm going to fight your casino. Or, no, you don't have sovereignty. I have sovereignty. These are fights. But community, I think we can have a almost unanimous a consensus that all people should have strong communities. And Indian gaming can help make communities strong.